morning hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in south yorkshire um straight away today i'm taking some cattle in the dark beast um so yeah, we'll get on with that andy's here morning andy Hi. yeah So I'm getting out of here, probably last uh, next thing is even. I'll be coming back into the yard. Well see what's going on at Ripon. Graham is in. Looking a bit empty, is it yard? Right, I am back in the yard now. So we'll go and make a coffee, I think. I'm ready for them. And see what these guys are up to. That's what they're up to. Strawing up still by the looks. Well, it's looking like it might turn into a nice day. Hey, guys. Oh, how nice is that? We got a dolphin one from Hawaii for Esme and Isaac. Business. Thanks, Robin Kate. It's coffee time. And what's happened here? They're yeah. gone again. He should be coming this next week to fix it. Yeah. So while we're looking at this, I might as well just show you inside workings of the straw blower. So it has these hooked bits that will pull the straw, and then these blades, some set at different angles, different angles, that chop the straw and pull it into the fan there that then accelerates it. And that's got little paddles on it. And so this, that spins around at a hell of a speed. I mean, these are spinning around at a hell of a speed and that's spinning, spinning around at a hell of a speed. And then it shoots it up. I wonder if we can see actually. If I can use the camera up that spout there, which comes out the other side. I think Teagle have got a new one as well where these come out a bit. So when it stops the floor, it pushes the straw away from the beaters and supposedly gets it started a bit better. Sorry that um, Cornwall show. Um, but I don't think they do it in this size yet, so it's in the sm on the smaller machines. But maybe one day we'll get a look at it. So Andy's going to be going off on my 6930 beast with the hedge cutter. And he's just going to go across the road and get some done. It's all filled up with diesel. I've just been saying to him, I'm probably going to try and check up on him later, send the drone over. Make sure he's not out of track driving a wee. <laughs> no, I'm not happy. What should we shoot at big gates? What? What should we shoot at top gates? I think I, I think I must have pressed it in my pocket. Oh, so I didn't know you got electric gate on that one there. What? Top of yard. What, top of yeah. yard's drive? The drive, yeah. What about it? Shut gate so a dose can get out. You've got to use these, 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 the, the metal work in these. Are they? Yeah. Start using. Okie dokie. Come on, back. Are you alright, you? Yeah. Get off me, Dog Dog says it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Full moon there. Full moon. Well, like you, fucking at my ass. <laughs> Now, honest, are you feeling all right? Yes. Hey? You want you want sweeping pebbles up? Even dogs are a bit surprised. Yes. Well done, mate. So Andy's got off with that. Me and Connor are just going to put this bale of silage in. One of the pens. Picking up 100, should be able to. There we go. Me and Big Mister are going for some sausage rails. Not for you, obviously, though. No, no. no not for you, not for me. For me. Yeah. Um, we're going to actually go in mixed car for once. It smells lovely in here, Michael. What's this that's got on? Motor. Mad Motown? Magic, magic gold. Nice. 
Give me his eater controls. As long as you're not playing with no dolls, I don't care. <laughs> he don't like it if you if you put it on an odd number. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't live with it. Hey, up. This XPO? No. No. Where is parked the tonic? There's, there's a drive, lorry driver there. Lorry driver here. I bet he's going to be cursing you. You are disgusting. Look at that. If you know to look how much distance it's away. Oh no. Look at them at back. I better whack that at back. I might stay there. That long to get a space that we didn't even get in a space. No, well, we're in a space. <laughs> Stop banging my car. Special buys for you, mate. Okay. Any good special buys? Oh, the gentry. Look at that up there. Yeah. See, that, that salad there is from Mick, Jane, and, and that past is from Mick. For me, me, no, me, me, that's it, innit, Mick? Not Mick, me. Left me to it, said he was going to fetch a car. I, I nearly beat him back. Looking good in background now. Followed nice, Michael. Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. Good, good, good. Are you off? Dilly, dilly, gotta go to work. You going to work? Right. Earn some money. I ain't going fishing. <laughs> right, bye. Well, I've had my dinner now. Um, I think we're gonna go in sort out a water trough now in the crush we've disconnected the water trough that was in there for a long time so we've never been able to keep cattle in that area now the other day when i went to that tractor place i got this fit in and we should be able to get them back up and running can you hear that and he's cutting hedges there we go just had a water trough to fix plumber joe not farmer joe coming out today again um and then yeah like i said down here uh, we can we can already do what i was talking about into the cattle crush if we want to there's always a, already the pipe work there so i don't actually need this what i needed it for was to tidy up down the bottom here i'll show you but as some of you may know when we're having foot problems we want to be able to run all the cattle into here along this race and out the end through the foot bath so we can treat their feet but when we do do it we've got this lump of pipe here stuck out um it's a bit wet around here because it's the water trough and they keep lapping it out but um yeah we've got this stuck out which is a mess so i'm going to take out this t replace that uh, with that bend so that's hidden there and then a little bit further along here i'm going to put a t in that i've got in my pocket to go into this one and then everything's back to how it should be so well, that's that bit sorted connor's now just the other side of here cutting um is it working we didn't even know we'd got these cutters they must have come in a toolbox i didn't know about i'm gonna take a while hey, i'm gonna start i don't think i'll like come on rambo no, it's not. Oh, it is. It's, it's on. I think it's on. I can hear it ticking. Tick, tick, tick. Is it cutting it? I'm right, easy now. I'm going to get covered in water. There we go. Done? It's not oh, it's not very good, is it? Mm. So I went walking off, but yeah, basically, that is all tidy now. Or as tidy as farming gets. With string and bits and bobs like that. It's not in proper cable clips and stuff, I know, but anyway we're not we're not that professional yeah i said plumber and farmer mostly farmer um i'm gonna go and have a look around the back of the sheds because um i think there might be some water leaking somewhere and i just think it'll be around here but it might not be leaking it might just be my imagination but there's just some water in the place that i didn't really expect there to be some it was around here and i think i found the culprit and the gutters uh, Oh, it's gonna be nice. Me ladder job, innit? Can't get nothing round here. While I'm on the ladder, I'm not gonna want to be reaching to one side or the other to try and get this muck out of the gutter because it's very dangerous. But so I decided to come up with a plan. I've got an old broomstick, and uh, we get loads of these to measure your spray into, and they just get chucked in the bin pretty much. Well, if I go at that. Put a screw in there, yeah. Should be able to pull down the gutter, all the crap out. I 
I'm thinking to where I am on the ladder I ain't got to reach anywhere have I? I can stay within the confines of the ladder well that's the idea anyway safety first but this, if this ain't farmer ingenuity at its best and I do not know what is so put that in the gutter pull it towards you load of crap in the container eh? business just need Connor to come round with me to hold the ladder and then drop it Hopefully you don't get covered in this stuff that comes down. <laughs> we're off and we're carrying it a funny way because we've got trying to carry that on top as well. So that is our issue there. So let's see if we can get it. The only problem I've got is my stick's not long enough. <laughs> so after Connor put his foot at the wrong side of the ladder, he's now come up with an absolutely ingenious idea. Um, we're going to get some string I'm going to tie it around that thing and then um, we're going to pull it along the gutter and hopefully it cleans it out. That's the plan anyway. Trial run, tied that on there, pretend that's the gutter. Hopefully it's going to get water in it so it'll weigh it down and clean it. <laughs> we ought to sell this invention, Connor. So I've got me, my slack line. These guys all thinking, what the hell are they doing? Right, the way I see it, I've got one shot. Oh, it's not very mucky, it's not very clean, is it? Yeah, no, uh, you don't need to pull on that. Got one shot, one opportunity. Yeah, you know it's working. Yeah, go on, you can pull a bit of that slack string away from me. This gutter is going to be clean. Any minute now. And I'm not having to reach. Safety first. That's business, that is. I can get that. I need to say this, but this um, this was perform performed by professionals, so we don't advise anybody goes up a ladder and does the things that we do. It's just because we're absolute experts at it, and um, we won't want to, anybody to risk their own safety doing something stupid like this. It worked that well, we did the house as well, and now I stink of gutter juices, which is absolutely fantastic, because it really smells nice. No, it doesn't. But um, Connor's on, washing nine meter i'm just gonna have a little tidy up in the yard here fetch some bales down feed up i can't put the drone up to find andy because it started raining classic so um connor's just starting a premix so we're gonna need one pretty much straight away in the morning but um we'd like to get everything cleaned up first keep everything fresh for these uh, cattle we've got uh, me and andy now are gonna just get a load of straw from up uh, up here. He's gonna put a trailer on and we'll pull it down into the yard and then it saves a bit of time over the next couple of days. But we can get them off this stack real easy cause it's only six high, whereas that one it would not reach. It would not reach at all. I think we can go seven with the TM. I think it was seven. Yeah, seven high I think we can go, not nine. Here Andy comes. Look at this mess our Ben left. Tidying up yesterday. Or we did for. He's in Turkey now though, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so we'll start loading this up. Right, Connor's just getting that unwrapped. And I'll push it in. We'll have plenty of silage then to eat over the next over the over the um over the night. I'm gonna say the next few days. They're eating one about a day. We've got a few minutes to spare, just your lenses, um, and we did a bit of welding on this, I think it's this side, and it's just started to crack again, so Andy's going to give it a blast with the welder and get it back up. Andy's been grinding that off, I've been cleaning this and doing mixed mentions. So it is a happy birthday to Zach Pickles, who's 10, and that's love from Nancy, Mum and Dad. Uh, Nick Constable, who's 52, and that's love from Gemma. 
We've raised 6,614 pounds for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. If anybody else wants to get their name in the video, then there's a link in the description below. Just click on it, goes, the money goes straight to them. Nothing, um, trying to shield my eyes from the welding. Uh, nothing goes to me, it goes straight to the charity. Straight there. Andy's on, putting his little weld on. We've not got any black paint, Andy. Uh, there should be another one, I think. I don't like using that JCB stuff. I think it's. I think. Um, I think I need to save it for a special occasion. We've got everything parked away in the shed now, all nice and secure. That is about it from us today. Um, if you have liked today's video and my little invention, then um, you know it's painted. I will say it's painted. Um, I think me and me and Connor are going to go 50-50 on it. Uh, on the string version, Connor can have 50-50. On the on the manual version, I'm having 100% of that. Actually, thinking about that, um, we'll put that down in writing tomorrow. <laughs> if uh, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button. Uh, subscribe if you've um, if you've not already. And um, yeah, if anybody wants any of the merchandise, then it's uh, joeseals.com. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later. Business. I think Connor's coming down now actually to wash his car. Um, yeah, bye.